up here. Just put it here. On top of the, on top sandwich. of the sandwiches. Actually, that's kind of perfect. <laughs> Hello? Sandwich pot. What's up? <laughs> if only you could see that you're sitting on top of a breakfast sandwich right now. We're professional. Very professional. <laughs> okay, the tripod's right here. It wasn't attached. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for today's video, we're going on an adventure. Yeah. Something we've been wanting to do. Uh, oh, it's raining. After so much <laughs> lockdown, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. But yeah, so we've been meaning to leave our houses. <laughs> and what better place to go than a flea market? Yeah. You know when you just feel like buying some stuff, but you want old and interesting stuff, not new stuff? Yeah. And as people who do food photography and like food videography, that antique stuff and like the th thrift markets and like flea markets, it's like we spend a lot of time there trying to find unique things. Yeah. They have character, yes. as they say character <laughs> so we are taking a trip to that flea market and we're going to show you what we find yeah but i think first we should actually show off oh right yes i made us breakfast she made and poorly wrapped packages breakfast sandwiches which i hope you can see how delicious these are yeah so we got the tomorrow foods sausage just egg that applewood cheese and then potato rosemary bread oh my god here do you want this one no you can have it oh wow it's like fresh should potato I rosemary right bread. Now? I bought it yesterday. Before we leave, Go should for I get it, a yeah. bite? Okay. Oh my god. So good. Mm -hmm. What I like about, so I get this potato rosemary bread from Prairie Boy, and it has actual, like, just chunks mm -hmm. of potato in it. Like, oh my who god. doesn't want that? I feel so fancy right now. Right? We have fancy road trip snacks. Did this cost me $20? Because it would. <laughs> oh. Oh, breakfast cafe idea. I think that breakfast, <laughs> vegan breakfast options are still underserved where we are. Definitely. Do you think you could do a breakfast food truck? Oh, yes. An all day breakfast food truck. 100%. Because breakfast foods come together quickly too. So like that stuff you could pop out really fast. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 100%. When we're done at the flea market, we'll figure that out. <laughs> okay. All right. Road trip time! How do I get there? <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. No, the drive is pretty good. I would come back out here. This is like, yeah, this is a good uh, a road trip. I and I love the scenery. It's great. Oh. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm so excited. I like. I wasn't like I was excited, but then when we got here, I was even more excited. It feels real. It like kicked in. Yeah. And there's not a lot of cars here, which is also exciting. Yeah. Okay. Should we just? Yeah. Right? Prongs. Prongs. Right. Right? Those are really nice actually. Right? Twelve bucks. Should we get them? I think so. I think it's so good. It's three bucks. Yeah, look at those. So cute. Oh all this stuff is so fun. <gasps> Small Science cookbook. I love oh these old God. cookbooks. That'd be so cute in photos too. I actually. love that. Like a oh nuts. There's a cake stand. Ooh. These cookbooks are so small. <laughs> <laughs> My 
Metropolitan Cookbook. I don't even know what that means. Tested recipes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Body building dishes for children? No. <laughs> All the pink. So much pink. <gasps> I love these. That shape. It looks like an ice cream yeah. cake. It's so cute. Look at this blender. That is adorable. Very <laughs> And these glasses. Just like. Like, look at that old mixer. Oh, it's a grease strainer. Oh, that's cool. You could also do it with something. That is yeah. cool. Very cool. My mom used to have something like this that had way more holes in it, and I loved it. You would just put it on the side of a pot. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved it. This was very big. $80. That's amazing. Oh, the price is inside $15. That's so cheap. Oh my god. That is, I think I might have to. That is so, so cute. cute. Oh my god, we need that sign. $58. Dang it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, they're incredible. I love that. That's actually like art. <laughs> the meat of an orange is the main source of many of its nutrients. Wow. I love that. It's educational. I actually really like that a too. <laughs> Kitchen oh. seance. Summoning. I love it electric. though. It is so cute. Yes. Pink bathroom. <laughs> I was actually just talking about that. Cool. Oh. I want that fridge. I love this. Yeah. I want that one. I don't know what it's for, but I want it. Telephone? Bell telephone system? <laughs> oh my god. I love it. Oreo. Oh, that's Oreo. <gasps> oh, that's incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, Christy's social team. That's amazing. Oh, you fancy. So fancy. That is so cool. It's only 20 bucks. Oh, what about this blazer? I love that so much. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Oh my god. If we had more of a budget and actually had a set kitchen, those would be in it. Can you imagine? Oh, it's incredible. Oh, all items here are 50% off. Oh my god. That's actually it's, it's super cute though. It would be $9. It's not bad. So many cute little things. Oh, these are cute. 10 bucks per cup, so 5 bucks oh, a cup. Yeesh. Not bad though, for yeah, pottery. I think so. 10 bucks for both of them, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. And they're that's pretty. That's really tempting. So we spent about 80 bucks on this. I think it's a pretty good haul I think for it's 80 great. bucks. Yeah. All right, 
We're back in the kitchen. Yes. With our haul. Yeah. A really exciting haul. Like, both you and I did not expect to get as much stuff as we did and spend as much as we did. Like, I was really nervous we were going to leave with nothing. No, and it would be a boring video. But, alas, we didn't. <laughs> alas, we have a Ritz tin. <laughs> Which, honestly, I think is one of my favorite things about this haul. It's just so Cute. It's so cute. I love how matte it is. Yeah. It's so nice. It's in good shape. It was two dollars. Yeah, it was two bucks. How do you not get that? In like... I'm almost regretting not getting the pasta ones, too. I know. They were so good. We're gonna be back, though. We're we gonna will go be back. going back there. I had no idea how much I would love old cookbooks. Just like, like... Look how pretty that is. The design? Complete small appliance cookbook. It's a lot of appliances that people do not use anymore. Yeah, it's some very interesting um, things and stories in here. But how can you not like that? Yes, I think it'd be great in photos. And we're also thinking of possibly making some of the recipes. Yeah. If you want to see a cookbook review. You said you liked when we do <laughs> cookbook reviews. So we're taking that up a notch. And we also have a pie cookbook. <laughs> Literally, I think we got a lot of this stuff from the very first stall we walked into. Mm -hmm. um, I saw this and had to get it because it's a pie cookbook. It was eight bucks. Like, eight dollars. And there's so much, there's 700 recipes in this. Honestly, old cookbooks are so fascinating. <laughs> right? And like, the writing in this is so geared towards women, so obviously. It is so funny to read. And yeah, we're gonna definitely be testing recipes from this book, so stay tuned. <laughs> And this one, I just like, I kind of liked the cover, and I want to know what the Canadian Spice yeah, we haven't, Association is. We haven't opened it yet at all. No. But it's just, like, we like spices, we're Canadian. Why not? I mean, I'm going to open it right now. Yeah. I wonder if there's See recipes what I in bought. it. Or if, like, <laughs> like, that's something you could just frame, even if, like, that's the inside. That's what I was thinking. Oh! <gasps> that's so That pretty. is adorable! Oh my god. I wonder if they're throughout the book or just at the... One cover. 55 ways to use spice. Wow. It's just like a list. <laughs> it's, just a, it's a BuzzFeed list. <laughs> Sprinkle nutmeg over buttered carrots. Oh, wow. It's very specific. These are... So there are recipes. Yeah. And like tips and stuff. What? Where all the spices <gasps> come from? This is so cool. <gasps> this is a great book. I love that. How much was this one again? Like, the price is gone. Oh. What? Did they rip off the price? I don't know. I don't think it was much. Maybe five bucks? Yeah. It looks great. And it looks like it's in amazing shape. Yeah. Other than the back a little oh, bit. Not the back. But this is such a cool find. Yeah. It is so cool. Um, and then this is the meat of the cooking section. The meat. <laughs> got a lot of cooking stuff. So we got lots of utensils, forks, and one singular spoon. I got this little mini it's measuring little travel spoon. size. Like, I just... They're so cute. Yes. The cutlery was such a great find because I find, like, for photography, it's really hard to get really nice looking cutlery. And, like, mm -hmm. you can find them on, like, Etsy and eBay, but there's also usually, like, $40 to ship it to you. So I got these six, I think they were $12 total for six. This one was two, and this one, what, another two bucks probably? I think so, yeah. So, like, that beats Etsy and thing yeah. all the time. And I got this uh, <laughs> old school crinkle cutter. Yeah. This was $5. Which is just so cute. Yeah. I honestly just like the wooden handle with the old metal. Yeah. Even just like as an accessory to have in your kitchen. Sometimes it's yes. the only reason I buy stuff. Uh, and then a baking dish, which is mainly just prop baking dish. But like, look how pretty it is. <laughs> like, it might look rough to you, but we see nothing but potential. This is like photography gold. This will photograph very well. Very, very well. You know, we like rustic. So I'm, and I love the look, the like kind of crisscross yeah. look. I've always been wanting ones that look like this, but they're hard to find. And if you find them new, they're very shiny and they're still expensive. So this was eight bucks. So it's cheaper than home sales. And then the last couple of things, Got a cute little sim. I'm so happy about it. That was the one thing. Every time, because we use sims to dust all the time in photos, because I think it makes an amazing yeah. photo. But none of our sims are nice. Like, that was always one of the things that bothered me, is, like, they're not, like, photogenic. They're just <laughs> kind of boring. But look how pretty this is. Like, wooden it's, handle. It's a little bigger fun. than a normal, like, powdery sieve that you would use, but it's still, it's 
It was two bucks. Two dollars! <laughs> How do you not buy this? Oh, I love it. Yeah, very happy. And my favorite find. An enamel double boiler! Like, I'm sorry, in great shape. It's so cute. It's so cute. It was fifteen dollars. Like, how do you, how do you not get it? No, I it was. Just don't understand. We saw like a few of them, and this was the best one. Yeah, this was the best one, and I love the color. Mm -hmm. I think it's so fun. There's no lid, unfortunately, but I think you can make do with that. Yeah, or you might have a lid that will fit if you need. Yeah, it. but like it's, it was just too pretty. It's like in great, great shape. Mm -hmm. So why would I not? And for fifteen dollars, that was like one of the cheaper bots we found. Yeah. Had. So I had to buy it. So overall, a very successful, surprisingly successful yeah, trip. Yeah, we will be going back because it was it was also not busy at all. No, and there was so much kitchen stuff. So so like I don't know. I feel like we got spoiled. Yeah. For our first one yeah. going together. <laughs> like I definitely could have spent more money. I controlled myself. If we had more money or more space, yes. we would have been in trouble. Definitely. Uh, let us know if you live in Ontario close-ish to the Toronto area, what flea market should we be going to? Mm -hmm. Because we want to go to more. Yes. Because <laughs> this was so good. <laughs> yeah, and then maybe, you know, eventually you see us use some of these props in photos and stuff. Yeah. That might be another video. Yeah, we're thinking about doing a video where we use some of these props and show you how we use them. So if you're interested in that, let us know. Yeah. Because I'm interested in it. So it's going to happen anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. If not, you'll see it in photos anyways. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. Well, that's uh, that's it. Thanks for coming shopping with us. We hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. And uh, make sure you subscribe, comment, and give it a thumbs up. Share it with somebody else who likes flea market. Yes. Shopping for old stuff that's fun. Yes. And let us know what your favorite flea market find was. Yeah. That's a good question, I think. Definitely. I honestly feel like it has to be this. As much as I love the double O, this was two dollars. So what's this? Too much energy. Gotta buy some Ritz. You okay? No. Never mind. Take it into. Imagine there's Ritz in here. <laughs> no, it just smells old. Oh yeah, it smells very old. It smells old. like the '90s. Yeah. It smells like the '90s. So do we. 